Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. So, this is Alon Paul. We're going to be doing a little test on some of our multi-tool here that we've acquired. Now first things first, I want to show you what I have in my inventory. I don't think I have enough ammunition to get through this. But we have enough slots available in my exosuit that I should be able to store what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for glass shards. So what I have here is I have this latest multi-tool. I've renamed it the Unpeaceful Resolution. I very much apologize. I don't remember what system I got it from. It's been so long because I acquired a bunch of them and then started upgrading them. This one came as a B class. I've upgraded it to an S class and ended up with a surprising setup here of having four supercharged slots all right next to each other, giving this thing unparalleled power. It's doing 30,000 damage with just my pulse spitter alone. And because this weapon already has additives uh, to it for, uh, for, 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 gosh, I can't even talk anymore. I'm so overwhelmed by how fa powerful this weapon is. Because it already has some, some bonuses towards damage alone, it becomes an ultimate weapon when fighting Sentinels. And I want to go ahead and show you that. Plus, just so you folks know, this this weapon known as the hijacked laser that you get with these keep it keep it it takes forever for it to overheat it takes forever to overheat just to give you a rough idea watch the top top right corner look at that gauge it's barely moving it's absolutely incredible and granted it doesn't get to the to the really hot part where you start acquiring the, the minerals faster but at the same time I'm holding this down for a full 90 seconds without it ever overheating it's incredible so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm on a severe planet as you can see really hot temperatures but I made this little base here at one of these ancient areas because they're protected from the elements if I go outside this area see extreme storm oh that's okay that's what I wanted to do is attract some attention from somebody so here we go. I'm gonna... Yeah, that was your mistake, buddy. So we're going to get these combat supplies, and that's the whole purpose behind doing this right now. So it looks like we got a level one unit. It's only got one of these guys, so I'm going to take out what I can. See what I mean? Just unreal. Unreal damage. I'm going to go ahead and take him out because I want level 2 to come in. Now we are going to leave the combat supplies behind. You see that there's only the one there. I picked up one by accident and, or it fell into the hole here, one of the two from previous battles. Let's see what we get. So we got one unit coming at us. There must be others floating around here somewhere. Okay, here they are. What do we have? We got one repair unit and one call-in unit. Oh, that's not strong enough for me. We need two of you. So I'm going to make sure we get the next level. These storms can be pretty nasty regardless. Okay. So that's going to call in level three. So I'm going to jet over here to the other end of this platform here. Get the microphone just a little bit closer because it's having a little trouble picking me up. Did we face the right direction? Where are they coming from? There they go. Now level 3 should have two of these guys here, but I don't see them. So let me just see what happens. Eh. Quadruped. Let's bring him in. I want to bring him in a little closer. Ready? Watch this. He's already gone. And I got some pretty decent upgrades for it, mind you. I want to be clear. 
that makes us a little more powerful, but we've only got one call in unit. So I'm going to keep going. Because it's not quite powerful enough. We need maybe level four will get us where we need to be. There we go. That should call in the next level. The storm should be over soon, so we'll be able to see a little better around here. Because, of course, there's a gravitino ball up there if I want to grab it. That would have sparked him anyway. Hey. Fido. Goodbye, Fido. Uh, let's see. We got one call-in unit again. For some reason, that's all we're getting. We used to get two call-in units. Yep, that takes care of him. There we go. But we don't have enough call-in units. Okay. Let's try level 5 and see what happens. Otherwise it's going to be a short-lived run. That should get us to level 5. Let's see what happens. Would it be great to dual wield multi-tools? Nah, yeah, that's right. Two John Woo. And let's see, we got one call in the unit it looks like. Really was hoping for a second one. Throw them out. Looks like we only have the one call in unit. Okay, so this was kind of a failed attempt here. Yeah, that guy's just like no match. Imagine dual wielding these, that would just be insane. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to get what we're looking for. Oh, wait, wait, we have a second call in unit. Excellent. Second call in unit just appeared. Hello there. seconds. I wanted to show you the full battle. I know I did give you a different one earlier. There we go. A little bit of concentration here. <laughs> Don't want to take out the bad guy. The calling units. So you see, we're making quite a mess already, and we've only been at this for eight minutes. Hi. Shouldn't get so close to me. Don't stand so close to me. And that's why. Did I literally just quote two songs back to back? I don't know. I don't like you back there. Oh, right there. How's my ammunition doing? I'm down to 8,000? Good deal. sitting behind me. Oh, okay, the other calling unit has gotten far away. That's what happened. we got to draw him in.
Oh, there he is. Did the brain get picked up already? Oh, is that it? Oh, I think I must have destroyed the brain already. Go figure. Okay, would that pull him in? Yep, that pulled him in. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. He was standing right in front of one of the call-in units that we did not want to destroy. Whoops. And you notice I'm not using even a... I am not using a uh, paralyzing mortar either. Yeah, this place is prone to a lot of storms. It's an extreme planet. Okay, anybody else around? So how long we at it? Started the video, and we were about 30 seconds in before we started the battle, right? We are 12 minutes in. You take a look around and you tell me how well we're we doing. My shields aren't even hurt at the moment. Now, it would be a little different if we were on the other planets. The corrupted Sentinel planets. daylight now. I like to make it a little even once in a while. Yeah, buddy. So we're going to do this for like about 15 minutes, let's say. We are at 13 minutes now. Getting to the point you already know how many shots it takes. Whoops, a little bit crazy on that one. I'm in the weather, of course, being standing up here. I gotta be careful. Where do I hear him? There he is. Isn't that pretty? Got a nice rainbow in the background there. about nah a little too a little too much right <laughs> all right we are closing in on 15 minutes Give it an extra 30 seconds to compensate or accommodate the start of the video. Remember, we've gone through all five levels at this point. And what does that do? 30 seconds. Let's complete them out.
Where'd he go? Um, he must be like right over my head. There you go. Done. Anybody else? I think that's everybody. There we go. Network disabled. So that is exactly, that's just over 15 minutes. So we're going to call it 15. Now I'm going to show you that laser for just a second here. Hijacked laser. So I'm going to clean these up. I could go just select them, but watch this. Just make sure there's none down there. Okay. Let that get happen on occasion. So let's, let's do a pullback on this and give you a rough idea of how much carnage we've committed. Right? That's not bad for 15 minutes worth of work. And you're watching a laser at the top right? I'm not. Can't seem to get that one. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. So there are easier ways to get nanites. But I dare you to tell me that there's a more fun way to get nanites. I've had that discussion before in one of my first videos on, on the 90,000 nanite video. And that's not a new way of doing things. This is going back a long time, but it's worth repeating once in a while to bring people back up to snuff that, hey, there are ways to do things. If you enjoy the, the combat style of things, it may be a little easy to get through this kind of combat. Some people may find it a little bit overwhelming. Look for the little blue right there. Must be one in the hole here or something. Nope. Hmm. I don't know where it is. It must not be here. It must have fallen through. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. So it looks like we got them all. So again, there's one more over here someplace. It must have fallen into a hole or something like that and I can't see it. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. It's right down there. There he is. Let's try something with this one. Whoops. Oh, that's funny as crap. Not what I was trying to do. I can't get it. Alright. So apparently it is right down below us and we just can't get to it. Uh, let's get back out of that view. Oh. Wow. Okay, it went through a hole. That's probably why. Okay, no big deal. Not going to worry about it. Let's take a look at our inventory now. So this is what we end up with. And you notice I started out at about 76,000 nanites. We've only gained about two or 3,000 just by the battle itself. Just by uh, alone, I should say. This is what we ended up with. But what do we get out of these? Oh, I had an open spot up there I didn't know about. So we're going to pull these up here. There we go. So we had one extra in our inventory. I didn't realize I still had. We're going to go ahead and open these up. And what do we end up with? That's how many we end up with. So these are worth about 5,000 nanites apiece altogether. So we got about 15,000 nanites in 15 minutes. So 60,000 nanites is what we could pull from one of these. And I wasn't even trying. So keep in mind, this is a really decent way and fun uh, way of uh, acquiring um, nanites. And I've said it before, I, I've always enjoyed doing it. I mean, we even took this guy out in a matter of seconds. Um, and I really wish I figured out what happened to the to the brain. Uh, I don't see it in my inventory, so my guess is that it, uh, it evaporated. <laughs> I must have destroyed it, too. It happens once in a while. So, whoop, there's another one. How come that didn't show up on my radar? There we go. And we will be doing the Boatcaster later on, because I'm really curious to see what the Boatcaster can do. But anyway, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And 
yeah, I'll release this video in just a couple days. It's, uh, it's being filmed on the same day that I did the previous video, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. This is Alan Paul. Hit the like and subscribe, folks. Thanks, thanks a lot. See you around.